Hey, hello YouTubers. <clears throat> Once again, doing some honing my stray razor. Uh, this is a follow-up to the honing I was doing. Little heckle, uh, hinkles. I started with a traditional Naniwa set in the bevel. Followed by my cuticle. Now I'm going to go to my other side of my cuticle. It's a BBW a Belgian blue side. This is a natural combination. Uh, for some reason, whoever had it last drilled some holes on it. That is probably mounted to a stand or a box or whatever. In my last video, I explained the reasoning about why I'm going from slurry on the yellow side to slurry on the blue side. I do believe that my blue side is uh, finer, uh, higher grit, maybe, uh, to call it grit. I think it gives me a, a, a finer edge with the slurry. I am going to continue it with this side of the stone with just water and I'm gonna finish it on the uh, on the Sulu Gray. So I use a EMT 325 to raise the slurry. I handheld one honey with small little stones, and then this one I like to use uh, heel forward kind of like a 45 degree angle if you hear that and you watch the last video you can tell that the the scratching is not as loud as it was with the others with the yellow side uh, I mentioned before in all the videos uh, I am NOT a pro I do this for fun I enjoy it it's relaxing uh, I love being able to shave with a, a straight racer that I home personally uh, I mix it up quite a bit as I'm going I do all kinds of different strokes. Some people don't like that. I think it does a better job at erasing or fading away the scratches from the previous stone. It's my opinion. Is it true? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, some water there dilute it a little bit right this is gonna be a fast video this stone cuts pretty fast on both sides it's undercutting really nicely you can see how the slurry mounts on top of the blade see that right there that's called undercutting that means that it's not just pushing the water, it's going underneath the water. Right? I said that in three different ways on the cutting. Sorry, I'm not trying to sell your intelligence, but yeah, I didn't know what undercutting meant on honing when I first started honing. I do, uh, different strokes like I said and then I'm trying to finish very light very precise very slow I usually change the stone, uh, the tape on every stone, but 
For this video purposes, I'm just gonna go clean water in the cortical side. I'm gonna clean this blade. Make sure I'm not using the slurry from the other, from the blue side. But should be fast. Next video, I'm gonna use my blue gray. There's not a lot of videos on that one. So, like a lot of people said, and I said it, I think, in another video, is the, you know, beautiful thing about cuticles is yeah, a lot of people make it more complicated than it is. It's just honing, guys. It's not, it's not rocket science. Uh, but... I had never over honed on a cuticle. I don't think I ever over honed on anything. I've been honing only for three years though. Uh, a couple, maybe hundred razors, maybe a couple hundred between my razors and my friend's razors. Right now, uh, Everybody goes all crazy about, oh, um, cuticles are so hard, you know, you have to maintain the, the slurry. I know people that don't even use the slurry on their cuticles, you know. Some people just use it on their running water, which I tried that technique from Dr. Matt, if you haven't seen it. That yeah, technique actually works really well. Yeah. I used it before, and I like it. I use it when I'm gonna finish on a cuticle, and this time I'm I am not. So, so I'm not gonna finish on the running water. Uh, a lot of people, I've done it before. Will add a little bit of uh, a drop of uh, a dish soap. I'm gonna actually do it. So you can see. Oh no, he dropped. He dropped some soap on a cuticle. You're gonna ruin that, bro. Whatever. It's a natural stone. It's been in the ground with rain and all kinds of God knows what. And I don't know if you can hear it. There's a difference in the sound, there's a difference in the feel. It's super slick. Some people. Use glycerine. This will, I guess, it's like cheating. <laughs> it will enhance it for sure. Cool thing is, you can see the bubbles. Boom! You see that? I hope you could see it. Let's see. Uh, you see the bubbles on the top? On the cutting? And that is like no pressure. Let me bring it back a little bit. Boom. All right, guys, that is all for this stone. Oh, I'm super confident I can shave right now with this razor. This is my normal routine, but we're going to make another video uh, with the Zulu Gray. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one.